going on, guys? What's happening, man? I'm Paul. This is Pauline Theology, and we're doing our daily devotional. I'm glad to be back. Glad to see you back. This time, we're going through Judges. We went through the New Testament, then we went to the Old Testament, we went through the New Testament, and we're back on the Old. I want to get a good balance of both as we read. But Judges, man, it's one of those books. It's like uh, uh, crazy and insane things happen. It's not for the faint of heart, I'll tell you that, because there's war, there's espionage, there's murder, there's just a lot of crazy things that goes on in this book. So let me give you a little overview before we start, and then we'll jump on into it. The overview is first, we see a book of kind of the history that leads up to what is happening. The first three chapters, two, a little bit three, is going to be about um, what has taken place to where we are now. And then the the, the next section, uh, maybe till about chapter 20, is, is going to be about a book of the saviors is what it's called. All the deliverers that come, the judges that come and rise to uh, ward off the enemies that uh, raise war against the the bad guys, which is pretty much what a lot of people know. You know, the stories of Samson, the story of Gideon, the Deborah, and, and all these people. So that'll be exciting. And we're going to give it a little twist because we're going to read through it and see maybe some of the stuff that we thought about as kids, the stories that we've heard, aren't really the, the story that is conveyed through the uh, uh, scriptures that we're going to be reading. And then finally is like a summation of it all. The first one was about how the the uh, the uh, the first one was kind of about how the people of Israel are uh, turning from God in a sense because of its leaders. And then the last part is going to be how the people of Israel are turning against God because that's what's in their own heart. And you know the phrase it says that. Uh, this was a time when there was no king and that everybody did what was right in their own eyes. So we're going to see what that means. Glad you're here. And let's go ahead and read through Judges uh, chapter 1. It says, After the death of Joshua, the people of Israel inquired of the Lord, Who shall go up for us against the Canaanites to fight against them? And the Lord said, Judah shall go up. Behold, I have given the land into his hand. And Judah said to Simon, his brother, Come up with me into the territory allotted to me, that we may fight against the Canaanites. And I likewise will go with you into the territory allotted to you. So Simon went with him. Then Judah went up, and the Lord gave the Canaanites into the hands of the Perizzites into their hand, and they defeated 10,000 of them at Bezek. They found Adonai Bezek at Bezek and uh, fought against him and defeated the Canaanites and the Perizzites. Adonai Bezek fled, but they pursued him and caught him and cut off his thumbs and his big toes. And Adonai Bezek says, 70 kings with their thumbs and their big toes cut off, used to pick up scraps under my table, as I have done, so God has prepared me. And they brought him to Jerusalem, and he died there. Let's uh, let's let's see what's going on. Let's ask the questions that we normally ask. What's actually happening in the book? What's going on in the story? And then um, what is it saying about God? What is it saying about mankind? And then how can we apply this to our lives? So the, the question first is, what's actually going on? Well, it looks like um, Joshua has died, and Joshua is the previous book. And so if with a short little kind of um, recap of what's going on so far is that there was Moses, and then Moses led them out of Egypt. And then there was Joshua, who took over after Moses' death, who led them into the promised land or, or yeah, he led them into the promised land. He warred and then they took over a bunch of areas. And then now that Joshua has uh, uh, has died, they are finishing the war to gather all of the lands that God had promised to them. And so because the, the leader Joshua has died, they're wondering, I mean, who's, who's going to take his place? So that's kind of the question I'm asking when they say, who will go up for us? And this time it's not a man that, that, uh, God chooses. He didn't choose a specific person. He actually chooses a tribe. He says Judah, the tribe of Judah will go up. And then uh, Judah asks his brother Simon, the the other tribe, they, they decide to get together. And then they fight against the Canaanites. And when they fight against the Canaanites, they fought at this place called Basic. And the king of Basic, uh, Adonai means Lord. So the Lord of Basic, they uh, captured. They defeated the Perizzites and the Canaanites there. And then um, the the Lord fled, but uh, 
they caught up with him. They they weren't playing around, man. They grabbed this dude. And um, they did to him what he's done to so many different people. They cut off his big thumb and his big toe. Can you imagine that? You know, cutting your big thumb, the big thumbs or your thumbs and your big toes. That's crazy. But uh, and then Adonai Bezik kind of recognized this as uh, just punishment for his his sins, his crimes, because he said, just as I've done this to many people, all the kings that have uh, uh, I've stood against, I've did the same thing to them. They was eating scraps under my table. It says now they've done it to me. And then he died after that. So I think uh, the question is, after we see what's going on, is what do we see about God? Well, I think that we can see that in this passage that the Lord answers his people. Like sometimes we wonder if um, we will hear the voice of the Lord if we ask him something. Uh, We wonder, like, um, how will we be able to understand and know God? Um, we ask questions to him and sometimes we think we don't get the answers because he didn't speak to us. But I think here we see that he speaks to us. If we're inquiring of him, he will speak. He he says, uh, Judah will go up for us. Now, um, for us, it's a bit, a bit different. I think that uh, the way in which he speaks to us is through his word. That's why we're studying. That's why we're doing this daily devotional because we want to see what God has to say to us. And so as we study the scriptures and we read and see who he is, uh, what, what he is doing, then that's how we'll be able to hear his voice is through his word. But he does answer. That's the thing that we get from this. I think the, 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 uh, the next thing that we see is that God is a, um, a righteous judge. He's, he's a just judge. And we'll talk about a little bit of that, how that's a bit different later, but we see that what came to basic Adonai basic was what he did to others. I think that's an important trait for, the writer of judges is displaying to the people that are reading it is that the, your sin will find you out that you don't, you don't escape your sin. And uh, what we know today is that uh, we have grace in Jesus. Of course Whew. we have grace in Jesus because uh, we do not have to live under that. But if we do continue to live under that, even though it may seem like in this world, we won't get the punishment that's due to us when we die we will receive that punishment and that punishment is separates from him in a place called hell that, that is painful uh, in the spirit, in the heart, because we're separated from the almighty, but also physical with fire and burning and, and lashings and whippings and such. So it's tough. What can we find out about us, about man? Well, I think what we find out about man is that uh, we don't too much listen to God. Because um, it's a little it's a little thing that you can read from this because it's kind of just knowing the character of God and what he has told his people to do a little bit about the law and the covenant, because up till now, we've seen all of the commands and the laws that God has laid out for his people to follow the Israelites to follow. And it doesn't say anything about anything about cutting off no uh, thumbs and no toes. That's torture. And God is not about that torture, man. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, if we read earlier, we see in uh, previous chapters, it says he wants them to cut off the entire land. It's it's called a harem. You dedicate them to destruction. They're supposed to kill everybody. Everybody's supposed to be wiped out. But um, yeah, Judah and Simon don't do that. They torture this guy instead, which ain't good. That ain't right. Um, another thing we see is also that... Uh, we as people, regardless of Christian or non-Christian, um, I think we recognize the justice of God. Sometimes we don't want to see it. Sometimes we don't want to face it. But we recognize it. We see it. Just like this guy in our basic who doesn't know anything really about the Lord except for the fact that he probably knows that, that they have been saved. The Israelite people have come from um, from out of Egypt. That God, Their God has saved them from Egypt and that they're in their area attacking now. But other than that, I don't think uh, he knows about the character of their God. But he recognizes his own character and how bad he is and that this is a just punishment for him. So what can we do with it, though? How can we apply these things to our lives? Well, um, I think that makes us check our own motives. Why are we doing the things we're doing? Because uh, the people of Judah, they were chopping off these dudes' hands and thumbs, and they thought they probably were trying to give justice or something in some way. 
but what they did was torture and that's wrong. And so we got to check our motives, man, check to see if what I, we are doing, even though we have like the right motives, maybe or some way like that, or is what we're doing, what the Lord has called us to do. And then piggybacking right off of that is that ask them, man, because the Lord will listen. And so uh, I think that's the thing we got to remember is that the Lord listens. Let's talk to him. Let's ask him. So we know what path to take and what to do. And I hope that you have found something from this as we read and we study. And I hope to see you back uh, uh, tomorrow as we dive a little bit further into Judges. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.